What is good fam? It is your girl Esther Joy coming at you with another video. Now in this channel we like to talk about love, like joy, and peace and today we're going to be talking about God and their pronouns. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I think this is a really interesting conversation especially with the age that we live in where our awareness of how we use our pronouns um, and how we identify ourselves and one another has been developing or at least a lot more awareness has been put in this area i think as of lately which i'm sure fam you can share your experiences with this in the comments now with that being said i have been thinking and i literally just kind of woke up and was like oh um god he they i just felt led to talk about how i kind of feel or how I refer to God and some of the pronouns I use and why and the whole idea of using pronouns to even describe something as incomprehensible as God. Okay, so let's just get into it, shall we? So I think typically speaking, like traditionally, most religions that I know of refer to God um, a la ja, they're a male, masculine, he, right? That pronoun he. And um, I think it's really cool. Pronouns show the energy of either masculine or feminine. And on that spectrum where these energies are laying. I know if you've read the Bible, you've seen God being referred to as he. His let his will be done. Um, or thy. There's a lot of ways, but I think he is usually referred to God. Okay. Um, and I wanted to share a little bit of why this is. I think God is referred to he, and this is because of the masculine energy that is carried through with God. Uh, masculine energy is more of a set foundation, a structure, a solid system, if you will, that has almost a predictable way about it. Would I say God is 100% predictable? No, his ways are not our ways, so I cannot say that. But I will say that overall, it's like a structure that secures what I would say the feminine energy of the universe. Both of these work together for us to experience God, but the feminine energy aka the universe is the energy of what we actually experience or play with on this realm it is mother earth and all of the things manifested that are in the physical reality that we interact with and perceive and the interesting part about why this is a feminine part is because it kind of just falls into place with whatever god's will is therefore god's will um gives a kind of masculine it's kind of commanding the universe and that is why or how i see the energies playing if i were to conceptualize it with my little human mind um at this time and kind of label these things with genders of course it's not really the gender as much as the energy or that the gender, um, you know, the divine masculine, the divine feminine is showing and representing and how they're represented to assist us in further understanding these energies at play within our lives and our reality. One thing I wanted to note is that like, I'm still totally learning and I think it's really interesting that I start referring to God as the they and I don't know, like, you guys can kind of share, but the way I see it, they're all around us. I see it as this combined force of the universe, of this divine power that cannot even be comprehended together, and I see it as they are all one. I see when I refer to, you know, if I have to refer to this energy, I like to refer to they because I'm not really sure. I just kind of see it as energy. I see it as a blob of, I mean, I say a blob, but a very distinct refined system of how life flows from one thing to another, the rules encapsulated in it, and how every single little cell on the tiniest microscopic level is interacting with others. And they are all connected and we are all connected to them. And 
I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit difficult to have this conversation. I feel like it gets a bit confusing. And I really wanted to just kind of share in the most simplest way how my, my perspective with seeing God, this idea of, you know, calling God him or, you know, the universe, her, mother, guy, all of these things. I wanted to just take a moment to address it. I think there's an importance with the idea of the feminine and masculine energies quite literally we live in a 3d world we perceive this world through um polarizing lenses so what does that mean well hot cold light dark um you know uh happy sad okay there's a lot on that spectrum but we have these two polarizing parts and we can perceive on that spectrum many different um levels i guess you could say and uh yeah so there is a beautiful spectrum of uh, you could say masculine energy playing with the feminine energy coming together to unite in this wonderful body of christ and that is where the body of christ comes in i think that's when you're connecting this the spirit of god with the flesh of the world or the universe and you combine these two and you get the body of Christ, which is within you and all beings that believe in it um, and know and trust that, yeah, you are connected to this source of everlasting eternal life. And there is more to this physical world than meets the eye. There are principalities and powers at play that we cannot perceive. But with that being said, fam, I hope that you found this video useful and that it gave you some food for thought. Again, I'm just sharing what has helped me understand and conceptualize uh, these ideas and theologies. And I hope that you will share yours to assist, you know, the good vibe fam as we are finding our way. You know, if you want to share uh, what this truth looks like for you and this whole idea with the labels and just everything. There's a lot to dive into. Uh, feel free to. I'm so excited to see what you got there and I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you'd like more videos like this in um, any suggestions. Totally open to them. Just drop them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Namaste. God bless.